Alright, so tomorrow you and I are going to organize all of this mess together. I wanted to finish all of this today but um, that day is about to end and I really want to show you the whole process and I don't like to record with artificial light. Uh, so tomorrow this is the task. Um, I decided to buy these paper folders. Um, I read that it's much better to save the negatives on paper. Also it's pretty cool that they have a space to write uh, some information about the film and you can even write here. So it's pretty cool. Just in case you're interested, this is the brand. Uh, this is Hama. Ama. I don't know, it's a German brand. I'm just interested in organizing this mess as soon as possible <laughs> because negatives are appearing week by week and I want to take care of them properly. All right, so see you tomorrow and we are going to organize this together. All right, so here's the plan. <laughs> I have a great mess here. So uh, I'm just going to save all of the negatives uh, in the sheets of paper. I'm going to write uh, on these post-its uh, what I have on each negative, just uh, to remember what's on them. Uh, after that, I'm going to check in my computer uh, which, uh, I mean, when, have these been taken. So I'm going to try to uh, write all of the data here on the sheets of paper and uh, then I'm going to organize them by date. So I hope it works because this seems uh, very disorganized. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's do this.
actually feeling like Marie Kondo right now. I'm loving this. city so I'm wondering if I left them in the previous house or if I actually have, have them here somewhere uh, in my mess um, so as a piece of that <laughs> so as a piece of advice organize your negatives otherwise you can lose them as I did <laughs> anyway um, I hope they are here somewhere. I'm going to look for them another day, but uh, if not, fortunately, I have the digital version, but uh, still, I wish I had the negatives. Anyway, let's continue now. Let's organize and I'm going to show you what I'm going to write on the sheets of paper and how I'm going to organize this. Let's continue. So the first thing I'm doing is to organize this by year um, so here I'm going to write 20, 22 and here 20, 23 um, and then I'm going to put them here I don't have this, I don't know the name but Thing to make the little hole so I'm just to, going to use I don't know a scissor something like that okay all right so let me show you very quickly what I'm going to write here so first of all I had to write the date sadly in this case I don't remember the date in which I shot it but I have the scanning date so that's enough for me but um, from now on, I'm going to write the date in which I shot the roll, not uh, the date in which I scanned them, all right? I prefer that. So I'm going to write uh, October 10th of 2022. So um, October 10th of 2022 then I want to write 
the camera which is a Ma Mia C330 yes then I'm going to write the name of the film which is um, Lomo 800 then I'm going to put here a where I was uh, the name of the city because I've been moving from one place to another and I don't know for how long I'm going to stay in this city so I prefer to remember that too and uh, finally I'm going to write a very short description about what this film is about so I'm going to put still lives okay so this is what I'm writing here, which is basically the information the information that I also put on my digital um, folders. the data in almost all of them and now uh, I'm classifying between uh, years. This is 2022 and this is 2023 and after that I'm going to classify them in order. So let's continue organizing and I'm just going to show you the final result. Um, I have to say that I'm not going to finish everything in a 100% but at least is much more organized than before so let's continue doing this <laughs> This is uh, my sister's cat, 
uh, she made this sticker <laughs> and look at this oh, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to sh be able to show you this like this but looks magnific I love it this is so satisfying I, I mean if you have all your negatives organized you know what I'm talking about and if you don't have all your negatives organized please uh, take advantage of this spring and do some cleaning and tidying and have all of your negatives in one folder <sighs> very very satisfying <laughs> all right so that was it uh, i hope it was uh, fun or interesting or useful for you and please comment below uh, how do you organize your negatives or if your negatives are organized or not i would love to and know your tips and tricks to organize your projects and stuff so uh, see you next time remember to subscribe and yeah that's it bye bye <laughs>